Hi, this is Dr. Kolodenker, and I'm going to go over one of my favorite procedures to do. This applies to patients with diabetic ulcerations, neuropathic ulcerations of the plantar forefoot that have been present in a failed conservative treatments. There's a minimally invasive type of technique that allows the patient to walk right away. There is no downtime. You really are walking, and I prefer patients to walk right after surgery. So here I've made a small incision, carried it down to the second metatarsal neck, and then what I will use is a small cutting device to perform an osteotomy of the second metatarsal neck. Make sure to protect the skin edges. That way there is no issue with closure. You can use a little bit of fluid to minimize overheating, but Either way, it's not really a big issue as we're not worried about these two bones coming back together. When you first start doing this, make sure you use fluoroscopy to visualize the metatarsal that you're cutting, and that way you avoid the possible chance of cutting the wrong bone. Use a freer or key elevator just to check and make sure that piece freely moves. Once you're done, you can irrigate, close up, with whatever you like. Uh, here you can see some debridement of the plantar wound. This has been present for about a year. He's gotten it to this size. It's been bigger. Uh, this is about the smallest that it's been. Uh, but now what will happen is he'll walk on it. There won't be any pressure underneath it. There won't be need for any special shoes. And the wound will heal. This consistently heals. Works in most patients some soft padded dressing uh, don't wrap it up too tight and here's about three weeks after